Worried that his wife will find out that he has an illegitimate daughter, Farhat rushes off to hide the letter, but as soon as he enters the room and sees Esli holding the envelope as she looks at him in shock, Farhat feels guilty. His panic is only slightly relieved when he sees the letter in the drawer. Esli gets panicked and says she needs to go out for some air. It turns out that the letter Esli was holding contained many pictures of her niece, Julita, sleeping with other men. Julita was having an affair with Farhat's uncle, who is Farhat's biological father. Esli, as her aunt, surely doesn't understand why she would seduce an older man. Meanwhile, Farhat is in his room hiding the letter revealing his illegitimate daughter. As soon as he comes out of his room, he sees Esli frowns in place and becomes puzzled. To make up for his uneasiness, he offers Esli a kiss. Farhat's cousin is now cheering herself up. She asked Julita that she had just moved out of her house, and Farhat came to take her and her daughter back. Does this mean Farhat is interested in her? She doesn't know what to do next to be with him. Julita suggests that once Farhat picks her up, she should follow him home. Farhat and his wife mustn't be allowed to go on their merry way. It's been hard for Asli ever since she found out that her niece was having an affair with her husband's uncle. She was too embarrassed to ask her why so she had to sidestep it by saying, You're too close to some of the people in this family. Are you hiding something from me? Julita pretended not to know anything. Suddenly Farhat came over and said he wanted to take Asli to see his brother. He's getting better at saying sweet things now. He always compliments his wife, who asked him to do something wrong to her. <laughs> During the drive, Farhat's cousin kept calling him, but he refused to answer. Asli was worried about Farhat's cousin and answered the call for him. This almost scared Farhat to death. He was afraid that his cousin would tell the truth and make trouble. Luckily, Farhat's cousin was fearful of him, so she didn't say anything about her daughter, just that she was coming home. As soon as he hung up the phone, Asli thought he was acting strange. When Farhat's cousin left home yesterday, he seemed so anxious to take her home, but now he's so annoyed with his cousin. She always felt something was wrong. After arriving at his brother's house, Asli couldn't help but talk to her sister-in-law about her doubts. She reassured Asli not to think too much. For the sake of the baby, you must be happy all the time. Farhat thinks his wife's changed too, so he drove all the way here to complain to his brother. <laughs> On the way back, Asli asks about Farhat's cousin again. Farhat told her to take it easy. It's not good for her baby. Okay, let's not talk about your cousin. Then Asli talked about her niece Julita. She didn't know Julita very well and felt that Julita was hiding something from her. Farhat didn't want her to work too hard, so he suggested he go to the bar Julita frequented to investigate. Farhat couldn't refuse his pregnant wife's request and went to the bar with her. Farhat felt that the atmosphere of the bar would not be good for their unborn child. Asli didn't care, however is pregnant is in charge. The couple play the role of strangers meeting for the first time in the bar. <laughs> Farhat even went to the DJ's place and ordered a special song. Asli was ecstatic to hear her favorite song. Although as a husband, he sometimes makes her feel sad with his words. He often surprises her to show how much he loves her. After waiting all night at the bar, they don't see the waiter, who is acquainted with Julita, show up either. While Asli worries about her niece Julita, Julita cheers on Farhat's cousin. Julita asks her to be brave and go after Farhat. She feels confident thinking that she and Farhat had a daughter. She goes to Asli's room and secretly sprays Asli's perfume and puts on Asli's lipstick. When Farhad's mom entered the room, she was shocked to see her there, so she persuaded her to leave the room at once. Asli, who hadn't gotten any news about her niece at the bar, was worried on her way home. As soon as she sat her day down on the bed, I guess her hormones went off again and she started asking Farhad another question. That question was a real killer. The next morning, a strange man came to Farhad's door. He stood outside the door shouting Farhad's uncle's name. Farhad asked him what was the matter. The man said that his son had disappeared. Yesterday, he asked Farhad's uncle to solve a problem, but he was refused. Today his son is missing. He thinks that the prosecutor has hidden his son. When Farhad heard his brother's name, he remembered the last time he went to his brother's house. He saw him looking so serious. Then he realized that his brother has been investigating his uncle. Worried about the accident, Farhad drove to his brother's house. As soon as Farhad leaves the house, the uncle comes out and warns the man not to say anything. Asli is at home and is upset about her niece. When she sees Julita coming out of the uncle's room, she asks her what her relationship with the uncle is. 
Julita replied excitedly, I make all grow. I have had sex with a lot of men. I'm your slutty knees. Are you satisfied? Asli was shocked and couldn't understand why she was doing this kind of hookup. It turns out that Julita used to be penniless when her mom was seriously ill and her stepfather was dead. She never got a reply to her Uncle Sim's letters. What could she do to make money? When you're comfortable in bed, while you're getting ready to go to college and become a doctor, I'm worried about having enough to eat today. She's not half as lucky as her Edisley. She yells that she's going to Farhad's cousin, because Farhad's cousin is the one person in the family. Who cares the least about other people's past? Asli is saddened to hear his niece's complaint. He calls Farhad and tells him that Julita has gone to Farhad's cousin. She wanted her husband to go and get her niece back. Farhad was talking to his brother about investigating his uncle, since he thinks her case is less urgent than his uncle's. So he just asked her not to go anywhere and hung up the phone. Asli was not happy with Farhad's attitude. <laughs> Soon after, Esli goes to Farhad's cousin alone, but she doesn't see Julita. She told Esli not to worry because Julita had called her and told her that she was at her friend's house. Esli once again asks Farhad's cousin to tell her anything. Esli is willing to be her listener, but when she remembered Farhad's warning, she didn't dare to mention that she had a daughter with Farhad. At night, when Esli was in bed, Farhad came to her with great trepidation. What he had said on the phone today had upset Esli. So he came to make amends with her in a sincere manner. Every time he hurts her, his way of apologizing is to find something to make it up to her. He never apologizes directly to her. Does he think it's embarrassing to apologize verbally? When he saw that his wife refused to eat the wild strawberries, he deliberately approached her and smacked his lips to feast on them. Asli surrendered to the temptation of food, but he would amuse her by suddenly eating the wild strawberry he had brought to her mouth. I mean, this is the food you gave to your wife to make amends. Why are you eating more than her? <laughs> In the middle of the night, Asli had a beautiful dream. Perhaps, like a Prince Charming, would actively feed her and ask her for kisses. The three of them were able to forget about the killing and the worries and enjoy the picnic. Listening to Farhad singing lullabies to the baby and seeing Farhad shed his bloody mask to show his gentle side, Asli wished that time could stop for a moment. Though this fantasy of happiness is impossible to hold on to, at least in real life, he can now sleep peacefully beside her. Suddenly, a ringtone woke up the couple. Farhad's cousin's daughter's voice comes out of the phone. <laughs> is it worth almost getting your life to be loved by a man? 